Hey, travelers, Troy's back, and uh, we have a very phallic-looking display <laughs> on the table today. I would have said october festy display. october festy phallic display? Yeah. Maybe. Festy. Festy-testy. Festy <laughs> anyway, the, the purpose behind all of this is we've had some, uh, some want for mystery beers. Who wants that? Do do Troy and Landon know their oh. beer? I, I I'm gonna have to go ahead and and quote another beer podcast that I listened to probably a decade ago. When I was first getting into beer, remember there's a podcast I listened to, and they did a blind tasting episode, and the guy was like a level two cicerone, owned his own brewery, and he sat yeah. down and he got them all wrong. <laughs> and that, well, that makes me feel better <laughs> right off the at bat. At the end of that, he goes, "There's <laughs> nothing more humbling than a blind beer tasting." So. That being said, we are not as talented as that guy. If we even get one half right, I'm going to call it. We're, we're level two Cicerones. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy was vastly superior than us. But that, that episode has always stuck in my mind is there's nothing more humbling than a blind. And here we are well, on my own show. There's what's in store for you. <laughs> Buckle in. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of hemming and hawing. So we're going we're gonna to start from uh, your left, our right. Stage right. Over that way. Booth right? Booth, I mean, booth right. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you're looking at us, booth left. But okay. So the, I'm just just at looking at the beers, they're different colors. They also look like beer. They also look like beer. I can I can smell uh, that they are beer, so we're not dealing with cider. So that's great. <laughs> just hope. I'm just hoping right now. I'm, Although you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was kind of hoping for a cider. <laughs> uh, I, I, I thought that maybe, way I could identify as a cider. There, there's like that jalapeno beer had such a distinct smell. <laughs> I'm not getting any of those. Kind I'm not of smells. getting any jalapeno smells. <laughs> not not getting any. I feel uh, like that jalapeno beer is a ghost of this episode. You bring it up every once in a while, it just kind of drifts in. Like, oh, remember that? <laughs> remember that? <laughs> we had one once. Okay. Well, without We're further ado. Yeah. So uh, just just color wise, that is a clear beer. It kind of looks like Coors Light. This was on the SRM scale, which is one through forty. Forty being a Guinness, one being water. Mm -hmm. I'd say this is like a two or a three. Yeah, very faint bubbles, very faint. I see one small minimal on the nose. I get a just a little sweet on the nose, and that's about it. Well, it's not Coors Light then. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's sweet. Just one dimensional sweet disappears very quickly. I don't it's not PBR. It's too it's too clear for PBR. Alex is it PBR? It, I'm agreeing with you. I'm not trying to give you hints. Oh, you're agreeing with us. I would say definitely <laughs> a golden lager, American adjunct lager. I don't think it's a light beer, but I'm also not overly versed in light beers. It's been a while since I've I had don't, a light beer. It, it, it doesn't. Do you know what I like to call uh, light beers? Vacant. <laughs> <laughs> they lack anything like beer. I if if this if this is a it's not a hard seltzer. No, it's, it's certainly not a hard seltzer. <laughs> if, I can, if I can. this if this is not a light beer, then I, then I would say it's uh, I would go along the lines of of you. Schlitz, maybe, or uh, not. Maybe it's, maybe it's hams. It's not undrinkable. It's got it's got that sweeter taste like hams does. I mean, right now we're in like a. Uh, uh, we're getting a lot of laughs from the other side of the camera. It's not an MGD. I just had an MGD. You know, what, you know what I'm going to feel really bad about is it is if it's a craft beer. Yeah. <laughs> if it is a craft, I mean, there we in the craft world we have seen a a, a, yeah. a movement towards a lot of breweries are making easy drinking lagers. That's so, true. I mean, you got like this uh, one is a little more sweet than I would like. Yeah, I would say that I would most craft breweries mm. when they do make an, an easy drinking lager might have just a smidgen more flavor than that. But that being said, I'm probably about to put my foot in my it's mouth. It's not totally vacant. Yeah. So so Beth, how does this work? Are they allowed to have hints? I was thinking about that, but what I think I'm going to say is. First, you need to say what kind yeah. of beer. Well, I think we already And then if you that. can, which is? Adjunct uh, lager. An Golden adjunct Golden. lager, macro. And then if you can, try to name and just 
each of you pick. Well, which so you let's do it. Let's do it Rhett and Link style. Have you watched Rhett and Link when no. they does it? Does it uh, sandwich or does it? You know any of that kind of stuff? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> watch the YouTubes, would you? Because. <laughs> Red and Link have like 50 million subscribers. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but um, I've seen it once. Any, anyway, so what they'll do is they'll they'll try to guess what you know. So they'll do like chicken sandwiches, and yeah. they'll they'll have like five chicken sandwiches. They try to guess be who from made like Burger King or you know whatever. So I we would, know this is beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's five thousand crab. Breweries, I'm going. So. I'm going with hams. I'm gonna go with Miller High Life. All right. I'm going to give you a hint for oh, oh, oh. Hold Is on. it a craft brewery? Or I have micro? one hint for you. There's a special machine that a lot of bars will get just for this beer. That's this, fancy. Oh, I know what this is. This is Stella. Oh, is it Stella? Yeah. I bet it is. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is Stella. I now, was that too much of a hint? Do we want to. No, 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 we'll we'll only do I it mean, for that one. There's and, a million beers we're, out we're not, there. We're not gonna we're not gonna say that we got it right. We would also identify that it was an adjunct. I would say as long as we can guess the the style of beer. And it's a lager. It's a lager. It it's a lager. an adjunct a macro. So we were right on all those. Stella. Uh, and I think the the proper way to pronounce this one is Stella Artos. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Stella, I mean, I, I used to, so I used to be a beer rep uh, for a company that sold Stella and like they can get really weird about the chalices. I mean, there's a lot of like and culture the, behind the this beer. little knife thing. Yeah, there's the nine, the, it's the ritual. It's yeah. nine steps to pouring a Stella. Very, very cultish. I was going to yeah. give yeah. The, the hint of a knife and that would have been a dead giveaway as well. Yeah. yeah. But you, I mean, you, you, you got to move on to the next one. They also have a world competition. Apparently we've been talking too long. Pour the perfect Stella. So Yeah. Okay. Well, that beer was a beer. It was, yeah, it was a beer. So it's this one, obviously, a little, a little darker. Copper. Yeah. Little coppery. Dark. Still got a little oh. bit of a sweet, a oh, little oh, bit oh, of a oh, sweet, oh. Uh, a little bit of a sweet smell on it, I would say. I get a Belgian smell on it. Yeah. I'm getting some of those Belgian, almost like a triple nose, if I had a gas, or like a strong could ale. A, could be a double. Or Dubal. Yeah, it's a Belgian beer. Tastes like a Belgian beer. But I can't... It doesn't taste like a triple nor a Dubal. So it's kind of like in its own little category here. Uh, Sprecher triple. Is my guess. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm Sprecher triple. All in. <sighs> I'm just gonna and, and I don't. Mainly, I'm doing that because we only have fifty. It, we only have <laughs> it very it very well could be that I'm gonna go with um, Orville. Oh, nice. Yeah. Can we? Can we? It's a Dunkel. Is oh, Brian Stefan? Oh, yeah. man, we're terrible. Dunkel. Yeah. Well, I'll, yeah, I know I didn't get that one right. I'll, I mean, I'm he, gonna I'm gonna give us a half point for the last one. And then we just get no points for this because well, I, I mean, don't believe in negative points. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. it, it, I, it the, still tastes like a Belgian. The Weizen beer Dunkel is such a unique style too. Because for me, uh, if I'm having a Weizen beer uh, Dunkel, I want some chocolate malt. I want you know all those uh, banana, almost like chocolate covered banana flavors. You I'm, get you get a lot of clove on this. Mm hmm. I mean, we but were, is that is that more of the I'd say that half a yeast that half a yeast def, that half yeah. a yeast I think was probably what threw us off on this one. I mean, we were in the we're in the realm. It wasn't like we it's were the saying, right part of the world. We weren't saying Russian imperials, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can honestly say we don't have one tonight. So uh, that was uh, well, that was a swing and a miss. Yeah, swing and a miss indeed. Uh, well, hope, hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, oh, I smell. Hops on this one. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's it's an I. I'm gonna say it's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold and say it's an IPA. It may, might be a pale, a little hazy to it. So it's not not oh. necessarily a filtered beer. Well, I'm I'm still gonna go with an IPA. It's a pale ale with a nice malt backbone to it. You know, Troy, I don't like it. 
<laughs> it's it's simultaneously. I'm not gonna lie to you. It starts. I think <laughs> the part that the part of the IPA you don't like because you, you like fresh hop flavors. You don't like when it gets resiny. Yeah, and this is well, more resiny. Very resiny. Yeah, there's a lot of resiny, almost piney flavors. I'm ready to try. I can't even guess. There's so many IPAs and pails out there. I don't even know. You gotta take a guess. Just uh, just name name one, and I'll I'll name one. I'm gonna say West Coast, Cold. Wisconsin, Warmer. Minnesota. Ding, ding. So it's a Minnesota pale or Minnesota IPA. Is it a Saga from Summit? I, I, that's all I'm giving you. That's too much. Already. But I guess I would say Saga Summit. You think so, huh? That's it's just that's a blind shot in the dark. Uh, <laughs> I know it's not Surly because Surly has a very Surly type taste. Yeah, I don't think it's surly anyway. I drink a decent amount of surly, and I'm not getting a I'm not getting a surly vibe from this guy, but I'm probably wrong. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's what's an IPA from Indeed? Just name me one. Uh, I'll the, just guess that IPA from oh, it could be their pale would be the the Day Tripper. Yeah, I'll go with Day Tripper. Uh-huh. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh God, we suck. It didn't it didn't taste like a surly beer though. We suck. <laughs> How old is it? Canned on seven thirty. So well, July, but July. Even even older, even older surly beer still tastes like surly. Now that you know it's a surly, does it taste different? Tell me that. See, I guess my mental image of a surly furious is redder than that. Think so? Yeah. My, my I think it's because uh, the can is so red. You, it just it messes with you. Well, no, but Surly has a very distinct. Like when you put Surly up against other IPAs, it has a very distinct. And I've been drinking, and a it's lot usually of, and it's usually more harsh than that. You no, know it makes me even angrier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what really grinds was, my. <laughs> what, what grinds your gears, Troy? <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of Surly Furious lately too. I just got done killing a twelve pack of this. <laughs> Uh, to be fair though, I see don't, what a fun game this is. Huh? Actually, because <laughs> Furious is like became my burner beer. Yeah. I don't even pour it in a glass. I just drink it out of the can. So. Oh, you uh, old school. I'm gonna go ahead and say, can, I'm gonna huh? say that's what threw me off. So we got this guy kind of. We got a half a point tonight. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing more humbling than a blind beer tasting, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, you got yeah. the IPA. And to be fair, Furious has been around a lot while, so it t- does take after that West Coast more than it would at East Coast. Those resin flavors and stuff like that, that malt backbone that we were talking about, were all very uh, relevant to this beer. So I'd say we described it well enough. We just didn't guess it. See, and in, in, in my mind, I had I had this totally different flavor that you know that Surly has, but you know, yeah. well, and it's it's very arm pity to your point, Beth, at least to my palate. Yeah, I mean, and you, that, and that's those resin. Yeah, you don't like Surly Furious, so you should have been like, ah, oh, I don't like this. I told you right off the bat. I said, Troy, I don't like it. <laughs> that should have been your indicator. <laughs> should have known right away. Yeah, well, not and and it's like I've said in the past, and it's not to save my own butt. I just don't like IPAs. No, you know, I, I, I don't. I'm not drawn to that style of beer. So when I drink IPAs, I can appreciate it for what it is. It is a well-made beer. It is just not something that I like. Well, then. So there's that. I guess we have to drink some more just to learn beer better, I guess. It's the only way you can go from here, right? I think so. <sighs> and for those of you at home, you can always you know, just play with your family or friends or whatever and humiliate the crap out of each other, just like we've been humiliated tonight. Well, I mean, like I said, it's it. With the the beauty of the blind beer uh, beer tasting is it forces you to trust your palate more. Now we obviously couldn't guess the specific breweries, but it's all there are there are very you take, and 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 when you there are very few breweries that have very uh, exact taste like nothing else tastes like that. Yeah. I mean, there are some that you could get. The problem with it is is that when you open your mind to all of these other things that it might be, yeah. Then you start doubting yourself. You also get a little overwhelmed by the the potential possibilities. Right. Is more, yeah, what you're right. trying to say there. But like I said, you know, that and like, and then you also take that bias out of it. Like if you have a Surly bias or a Stella bias and you have to judge the beer on its own actual Well, I, fluid, think, it's, I think it's also a good way of 
opening your mind to other beers that maybe you didn't think that you liked yeah. before. So th- th- there are some positivities to it, but it also makes you look stupid. So Yeah. Well, I think we do a pretty good job of that regardless. <laughs> Don't need your help, Beth. We really didn't need Beth's help in this case, but she certainly helped. So here's a question. Yeah. Mm. Do you think sometimes people get blinded by that this, it's going to be good no matter what, blah, 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 because it's this from this brewery? Mm-hmm. No, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, you know, I, I've worked uh, a ton of beer tastings in my, in the last uh, couple of years here. And, you know, there's women will come up and I always notice with women in particular, they'll be like, I don't like this beer. I don't like this. I don't like beer. I don't like beer. I'm like, I got a beer that tastes like chocolate and coffee. I guarantee you're going to like it. And they'll drink and they're like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's like, yep. You know, you, you didn't want it. And then, it, and then you tell them who it's by and they're like, oh, I didn't think I liked no, anything I mean, from I've, that. Well, I've had multiple breweries where I've tried like a chocolate coffee flavored beer, but it's just that uh, women get afraid of like, and I'm using women here, but you know, there's a thousand other examples out right, there. Right. They get afraid because it's dark and women are like, oh my God, it's dark. It's like, no, no, you like coffee, right? And they're like, yeah, I love coffee. It's like, well, try that. You know, and like the same way I've had uh, dudes who've like tried sour beers or I've, I've been at beer festivals where like uh, pinkish sour beers sell better to guys than women. You know, it's just, you got to sometimes just force people to try something and they're like, oh, that's good. And this is an even better way to do it. And I, and I think it's easier when you're at a beer fest anyway, because you're, you've already paid consumed for, so much. Paid, well, you've already consumed so much <laughs> and you've already paid for your ticket anyway. So it's not like you're paying for each individual sample. Yeah. You're there anyway. You may as well try it. You might as well burn some bridges. Right. Yeah. Depends on how far you're into that beer fest, I suppose. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> certain, certain things sound more. It's enticing the further you Early get into in the beer a beer festival, fest. You want a jalapeno beer? Right. Nope. End of beer fest. Is that what you got left? Is that all you got left? I could still we'll use another two. beer. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you fill my glass all the way up? Something fun that people might want to think about is Growler Guys, what they're doing right now with voting on oh, the beers. Yeah. Well, so those of you that aren't in the Eau Claire area, there is a place in Eau Claire. I forgot to go and try beer called, yesterday. Yeah, I, I got to do that yet too. It's called Growler Guys. Uh, for those of you that are in other parts of the U.S. or other parts of the world, maybe, there's a place called Growler USA. They're kind of the same place. They put a lot of beers on tap, and uh, basically, you just get to go in there and, and try yeah. a bunch of different And beers. right now, they're doing a, a competition where you get to go try blind beers and vote on what's your favorite. So you're not voting based on brewery. You're voting strictly on taste. And, you know, sometimes uh, when you do that with beer, the, the most common denominator wins, but still, you know. That, you know, the nice thing that, so this is the second time they've done it. The first time they did it, uh, what I would call a dark horse came out of nowhere and won the whole thing. I can't remember who won. It was Modicum. Oh, yeah, yeah. With and, like an amber, right? Yeah, with, yeah. A, with just a basic amber. Just a good comedy. Everybody dinner. loved it. I, but that shows you, too, that, you know, as much as craft breweries like, and maybe you want to buy beer for a party or whatever, you might want to go for a crazy things a brewery makes. But people ultimately at the end of the day just like simple beers, simple yeah. craft beers like ambers, blondes, and whatnot. You know, you don't always have to make every beer, uh, every beer. Uh, exactly. Something a complicated massive, and yeah. barrel aged or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's fun just crushing Furiouses or crushing ambers. You don't have to put Oreos in it. I don't know who did that. Or anyway. jalapenos. Or jalapenos. Anyway, so that was our humiliating episode for the night. Or the I was day, so confident on Or this the morning, one. or whenever you're watching this. Yes, you were, and you convinced me. And Not, yeah. that, not that I would have ever guessed a doomful well, but anyway, but... But we'll do, we got to keep moving, but yeah. I'll, I'll justify myself we'll, to you we'll afterwards. Be, uh, we'll be humiliated about that off camera. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't already done it, check us out on all the social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already done so, and tell your friends and family about us too. Yeah, you can do it around here click somewhere. Click the bell thing. Yeah, and yeah. then click the bell, Yeah, because then you get notices at 5 a.m. Central Time Thursday morning that a new video is available. Every time you a bell rings, a beer drinker gets his wings. Ah, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Troy. And don't forget, you can always ask us questions in the comments. You can always ask us questions and comment and make silly comments and about Troy. you will Troy. get terrible answers. Yes. Anyway, from all of us at Taproom Travelers, we'll see you next week. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.